This video is about solving exponential equations without logarithm. For any exponential equation, first step, you need to check, can we make a same base? If we can make same base, then change the exponential equation like this format. Then same base cancel, you got the x equals y. If we cannot make a same base, you need to isolate exponential form on one side, then take log both sides to solve. Before we solve real exponential equations, Let's go over laws of uh, exponents. For b to the x power, we call this b base. This x is exponent. For b to the x power, we call this is a power. For the law of all exponents, remember, base never change. When you do multiplication of all power, base, we don't change. We add exponent. For power of a power, we multiply the exponents. For division of a power, we subtract the exponents. Zero power always equals to one. Negative exponents, that's a one over. It will be reciprocal. For rational exponents, you will get this. For power of quotient, this is the formula. Power of a product. This is the formula. Let's go to some example. Solve each equation. For number three. First of all, analyze uh, the base. You have eight, you have uh, 32. We can make a uh, base as a uh, two because we do know two to the third power equals eight. 2 to the 5th power equals 32. Therefore, you will get the 2 to the 3rd power, that's 8. Then we do 2x plus 7 equals 1 over 32, that is 2 to the negative 5th power. Then we do 3x. Distributive property for the x you will get 6x plus 21 equals 2 to the negative 5 times 3x, that's negative 15x. Same base, we cancel, we got the 6x plus 21 equals negative 15x. This is a linear equation, isolating. Therefore, we got 6x plus 15x equals negative 21. 21x equals negative 21. x equals negative 1. Now let's go to number 5. Still, we need to analyze the base. We got 3 over 4, then we got 16 over 9. We do know 3 over 4 squared, that is 9 over 16. Reciprocal of four, 9 over 16, that's a 16 over 9. So how can I make a 3 over 4, we get 16 over 9 you got to do negative second power. Negative exponents means reciprocal. Therefore, you will get this. So we change 
16 over 9 into 3 over 4 to the second power. Then we do negative 2x plus 5 equals 3 over 4 x minus 7. We do distribute to property. Then 3 over 4 is gone. So we got the 4x minus 10 equals x minus 7. Then 3x equals 3. x equals 1. For solving linear equation, remember isolating. Now let's go to number 7. Analyze the base. You have 4, you have 8, you have 32, you have 2. Therefore, we make a base as a 2. 2 square. Then you do x minus 7 times 2 to the third power. Then we do 2x minus 3 equals 32 means uh, 2 to the 5th power. Then you got the 2x minus 9. Then we need to work on the operation of a uh, power. Left side, this is a distributed property. You will get the 2 to the 2x minus 14 times 2 to the 6x uh, minus 9 equals when you do the operation of a power remember base never change therefore for division of a power we subtract the exponent base never change is still 2 some students make a mistake they do 2 divided by 2 is 1 it's not Base never change when you do operation of a power. Division of a power, we subtract the exponents. Therefore, I got 5 minus x minus 9. Then you do distributive property, you will get the 5 minus x plus 9. But I don't want to show this work. I want to directly get uh, this part. Remember, subtracting means uh, adding the object. Therefore, I got the 5. Object of uh, x, that's negative x. Object of negative 9, that's uh, positive 9. Still, multiplication of a power, we add exponents. Remember, base never change. Therefore, you got 2x plus 6x is 8x. Negative 14 plus negative 9, that's negative 23, equals 2, 14 minus x. This time, base cancel. You got 8x minus 23 equals 14 minus x. Then you got 9x equals 37. x equals 37 over 9. Some students made a mistake uh, like 2 to the 2x minus 14 times uh, 2 to the 6x minus 9 equals 2 to the 14 minus x. Then they cancel the base like this. This is really wrong. Make sure you have to do b to the x power equals b to the y power. Then cancel the base, uh, get uh, x equal to y. Only this pattern. Now let's go to number 9. We know we can make a common base that's e. So we got the e to the x square equals 1 over e square, that's e to the negative second power, times e to the 3x. 
Then we try to create b to the x power equals b to the y power format. Therefore, I got e to the x squared equals multiplication. I add exponents. Then we cancel the base. You got x squared equals negative 2 plus 3x. We know this is a quadratic pattern. We won't get equal to 0 form. Therefore, we move everything to the left side. You got the x squared minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. Then you do ninja x. This is 2, negative 3. 1, 1. So we got negative 1, negative 2. Factor that is x minus 1, x minus 2 equal to 0. Therefore, your x equals 1 or 2. For number 11, we got 2 to the fifth power. Then get the x squared minus 2x equals 1 over 4 to the x power. I want to make a base as a 2. So we got the 2 square x equals 1 over 2, 2x. 1 over means the negative exponents. Therefore, I got 2 to the negative 2x. Then we do distributive property, base, same, cancel. You got the 5x squared minus 10x equals negative 2x. Still quadratic pattern, so move everything to the left side. You will get minus 8x because you need to add 2x here then equal to zero. Common factor is x. We got the 5x minus 8 equal to zero. Therefore, your x equal zero or 8 over 5. For number 15, We need to isolate the power on one side. Therefore, we divide it by 3 both sides. You will get 1 over 8 to the 2x power equals 4. Then we can change into the common base, that's 2. 2 to the negative third power, 2x equals 2 to the x power. Then base cancel, you got negative 6x equals 2. x equals negative 1 over 3. For number 18, still, I need to divide it by 54, both sides. You will get fourth root of 3 to the 5x power equals 1 over 9. Then we can make a base as a 3. 3 to the 1 over 4th power. Then we do 5x equals 3 to the negative 2nd power. Then we do multiplication here over 1. Then you cancel the base. You will get the 5x over 4 equals negative 2. Then we do cross multiply. This is over 1. You will get 5x equals negative 8. x equals negative 8 over 5. For number 19, whenever you see three terms, think about you can make a quadratic pattern that is ax squared plus bx plus c format set up equal to zero. This is a fact a to the 2x power. I can write down a to the x power 
square. Therefore, 2 to the 2x power, I can write down 2 to the x power square minus 2 to the x power minus 12 equal to 0. Then we assume 2 to the x power equals a. You can make a 2 to the x power equals y, any variable you like. Then we change 2 to the x power into a. We got the a squared minus a minus 12 equal to 0. Then we do ninja x, a minus 4 times a plus 3 equal to 0. And we got the a1 equals 4, a2 equals negative 3. But our original variable is x, so we need to plug back 2 to the x power. We change a into 2 to the x power equals 4. We got the x equals 2. For a2, I still turn into 2 to the x power equals negative 3. That's an empty set, no solution. Think about this way, 2 to the third power, that's a 8. 2 to the negative third power is a 1 over 8. Both is a positive. Therefore, 2 to the x power cannot be negative. That's why it's an empty set. x equals 2 will be the only solution. For 21, 3 to the x power square. For 3x plus 1, I will change it into 3 to the x power times 3 to the first power. Therefore, I got 3 times 3 to the x power. Because I want to get the bx, you know, the ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. Therefore, I can change this way into 3 times 3 to the x power minus 4 equal to 0. You have to know how to change this pattern. For example, if I have 2 to the x plus 3, I can write down 2 to the x power times 2 to the third power. Therefore, I can get the a times 2 to the x power. If I got 5x plus 2, I can change it into 5 to the x power times 5 squared. So you got the 25 times 5 to the x power. Now I assume 3 to the x power equals a. Then I got a squared plus 3a minus 4 equal to 0. Ninja x, you get a plus 4 times a minus 3 equal to 0. Therefore, your a1 equals negative 4, a2 equals 3. Then I plug back in 3 to the x power equals negative 4. It will be empty set. For 3 to the x power equals 3, x equal to 1. This is the only solution.